Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. To our new passengers, aloha and welcome aboard. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us for an extremely exciting ResortLoop.com today. I'm Tim Scott. And I'm Bob Collar. And this is ResortLoop.com, episode 118. Bob, I think yep. we just need to go. We just uh, need to go. I, I, am, I, I don't know if I can. I, I am extremely nervous. I, I am feel too. like I, I feel like I'm 15 years old going <laughs> going to the movies with a girl for the first time. <laughs> I felt this, pretty good yesterday. I was like all confident today. Um, I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> happening! <laughs> I know <laughs> we we have on the show, and this this is a big deal uh, to us, Mary Ellen. Uh, maybe not to you, but we, I'd like to introduce uh, to everyone Mary Ellen Hooper, who has been on the Dennis Miller Show, the Martin Short Show, the Tonight Show with Jay Leno. She's had her own special on Comedy Central. Ugh. Uh, that's called Lounge Lizards. Look that one up. That that is hilarious. And this this is just amazing. She has been awarded the fe- not amazing, but she was awarded the Female Comedian of the Year at the American Comedy Awards. So wow. we are just thrilled to welcome. Uh, to- After I heard that, you should be. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely! Oh, oh my wow. gosh. <laughs> She's this realizing so she's too cool. good for the show. She, <laughs> what? Yes. what am I doing on this show? Are those my credits? I gotta go. <laughs> exactly. That's what we said. We caught her at a weak moment, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. I was sleeping. <laughs> I thought kid- this was a telemarketer. Oh, <laughs> you'd, you'd rather talk to them, wouldn't you? Nice. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, Mary Ellen Hooper, thank you so much for coming on the show we are thrilled to have you on well thank you and and i i feel like i'm on match.com in a weird kind of way but you know (laughs) it's all good (laughs) i i uh i thought we were gonna be you're skyping me so i thought i cleaned up my room i put on makeup (laughs) now i'm gonna have to like call a babysitter and go out tonight because (laughs) You guys have totally let me down. <laughs> oh, your your husband will be happy about that. Oh yeah, he'll be so he'll be like, "Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> what have you been doing all day?" Yeah, what's happening? <laughs> so thank you. Yeah, you, I, I imagine I just left um, Ohio, so um, it, it's good to be home. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were kind enough to leave a little bit of uh, Florida weather because it's a beautiful 80 degrees here. So thank oh, you. Be quiet. Every time I come to that place, it's like the cab driver or the, the guy always says, oh, my gosh, you should have been here two days ago. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sunny and balmy, and then after I leave, they're like, "The sun came out." Like you are all lying, and that's how you get people to come. You are yep. lying. That's it. This is our first eighty degree days in like seven months. They were saying, <laughs> it "Doesn't exist." <laughs> it's it'll probably snow tomorrow. Exactly. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're not holding out too many hopes. Uh, But the reason we've asked uh, Mary Ellen on is uh, she actually is living the life that uh, so many of us uh, and our listeners uh, are dreaming about living uh, because you live in... Legally? (laughs) (laughs) You live in Walt Disney World. I do. I, I live in the bubble. That's what we call it, the bubble. That is so fantastic. Tell us a little bit about... Uh, living in celebration well um when we bought the house uh they gave us the keys and we put them in the front door and when we opened it we realized they're all facades so it's it's pleasantville there's not actually anything in the back of the house it's all to make you all jealous so we live in tents and it's all the show it's uh they handed me a snow globe of celebration when i got here which is ironic because we're in florida so i don't I understand that, but um, and you get a book about the celebration, the story of a town. Uh, so we have our own book. So apparently, I don't know. It's it's a thing. We moved here because um, my husband works for Disney. Oh, so his commute was such in L.A. Uh, all the way to Anaheim that I was taking care of the children, and he was not 
So I said, we're moving to Disney so that you can partake in this family raising. Yeah. So now he's literally four minutes from work. So it makes my life easier. That is very cool. But very cool. It actually does snow here. Um, we have fake snow uh, every Christmas time because we are Pleasantville. And um, yeah. we go to the main street downtown and um, they have the bubble blowers and it looks like snow. And we have a plastic ice rink, and it, it's just the entire town is fake. And they pump in music, so you think that you're psychotic and you're hearing things. But um, yeah, so you walk around, and I'm, and it it sounds like music, but it's probably telling me that um, it's worth the money I paid for the house. I think <laughs> that's what it's piping into me. And um, but but I think. You, you know, my sons are getting very, very um, sheltered living in the bubble because, um, you know, everything's perfect and the, the lawns and everything. And um, we went to a, a fair, a state fair here in Florida. So we ventured out of the bubble and we got out of our car and we're walking towards the, the, the fair. And my son froze and he was horrified. And I'm like, what's wrong? He goes, why? Is there trash on the ground? <laughs> like, well, that's because we left the bubble, sweetie. And he's like, should we pick it up? And he was like so teary-eyed and he couldn't understand why there was <laughs> trash on the ground. So I don't know how they're they're going to fare leaving uh, one day, but they may just have to live here forever. Oh, they, they, there could be worse lives, I'll tell you. That, that would be all right by me. <laughs> well, a lot of people are bothered by the... Um, you know, the homeowners association, you know, where everybody, those who ha are live in neighborhoods who have those are kind of always upset by it. But here, it is militant. I mean, they goose step when they come check your house. <laughs> they have armbands, the whole bit. And um, so, but for me, it was awesome because my husband has a hard time making a decision. When we painted our house in California, it took him six months to choose the right shade of uh, green. But here you have like five choices. You got this green, this blue, this yellow, or this tan. And done. My house is painted. <laughs> it didn't take any time at all. So not having any decisions <laughs> that you can make yourself is a good thing. Now, now, for some people, it may not be good. But <laughs> our neighbors that live next to us, <clears throat> they're rebels. Uh -oh. So. They have statues of Tinkerbell and statues of, um, um, you know, fountains and things that you're not supposed to have because they love Disney. So even though they're Disney stuff, um, they get fined all the time. But in comparison, we look awesome. So they don't even notice my mailbox that is the wrong shade of black. Um, so. <laughs> not good. Yeah. Not good. Sounds so, like your dog doesn't want you to be on our show. You know what? She's hearing you talk and she can't figure out where you are. Oh. <laughs> She's so confused. And this is the dog that actually that they handed me when I moved here. It's a little tiny, you know, <laughs> dog. You get that when you move here, too. So, yeah, you have to look the part to live here. Now, do, you, do your kids actually have to, when they're not in school, do they have to go over to Small World and work? Is that uh, part of the deal? Or, no. <laughs> They, yes, and it, and it works out well because my oldest son is dark complected and dark hair, um, so it works out really good. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, now you you're saying that everything is fantastic in celebration; it's all perfect, but it's not because uh, I actually I, I have followed your blog, Stinky Flowers, which is fantastic, by the way. Well, thank uh, you. You're a very smart man. <laughs> well, you don't know him too well yet. Well, thank you, Tim. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, it's not perfect there because you had you had an incident. Speak, speaking of your dog, uh, you had a gift put on your uh, your porch a couple of times, didn't you? <laughs> no. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> you well, put it on your blog. I'm just saying. I, I, I'm the rebel. In the, when this, when, I, when we moved in, things changed a little because I, I bucked the system a little bit. Um, a neighbor was not happy with apparently somebody's dog pooped on their yard and didn't pick it up, and they decided to pick it up and put it on my front porch. 
Um, and the size of this poop is actually the size of my dog's head. So, um, I'm like, okay, either you're really bad at Tetris or you just can't figure out that my dog did not do that. So I just let it go. And then the next day, there was another pile of poop on my front porch in a bag. You know, they weren't, um, you know, all ghetto about it, but they, um, they put it on my porch. So I decided to take my son's art easel and I put it on my front porch and I wrote them a little sign. Yes, you did. <laughs> and I said, uh, dear passive aggressive poop. Lieber, uh, this is not my dog's poop. I would be happy to show you my dog's poop. <laughs> we can surely settle this if you just knock on my door. And what I didn't realize was um, when I had left that sign out, uh, a realtor was showing the house across the street. <laughs> And the people came and they saw the sign and they thought, oh, that's cool. What are they saying? And they came over and they were horrified <laughs> that they had walked into this neighborhood brawl, you know, mishap. And then we've since they bought the house and we've since become friends and uh, they realized who it was coming from. So then they got the humor of it. But yeah, they were quite horrified. <laughs> but I never got any more poop. I don't know who did it. but uh, It actually worked. My husband was like, are you really? I go, yes, I am. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Don't leave poop on my porch and get away with it. <laughs> oh, they, they thought there were gangs in celebration. That's awesome. <laughs> but, you know, the, the cutest thing was when we were deciding whether we were going to live here or not, um, we were walking downtown, and all of a sudden there was a group of what looked like hooligans, you know, the, the, the kids' <laughs> pants pulled down, you know, their underwear sticking out, and the chains and the skateboarding, and the skateboarded on the sidewalk and they zoomed past us and and the boy in the back um, turned around and stopped. He goes, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Are you okay, ma'am? <laughs> and I'm like, we are moving here. <laughs> if that's a celebration gang, I am so moving here. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's good, for, especially when we have the little kids because they've got everything shipped in for us. You know, the pumpkins, they bring them in. So you really never have to leave leave the bubble. They, they bring in the trees. They bring everything. The, the hardest part is Halloween um, because they bring in the people. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the trick-or-treaters come on buses. And so it's really expensive to live here that, that day. Um, all the, the resort guests at Disney get put on a bus and brought out here so their kids can trick-or-treat in, you know, the greatest neighborhood on earth. And... Um, so it, I have to buy um, $150 worth of candy. Oh, oh my wow. God. I know that one day is just never ending, never ending, never ending. Um, <laughs> and I'm like, y you people don't live here. <laughs> wow. You <laughs> are you forced yeah. to use the, like the big bars or you still just get the little kid size ones? Well, you know, I'm, I'm a hippie mom. So I try to do uh, little toys mm. instead of candy. So, oh. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so, it's it quite expensive. I do those little, you know, rubber uh, bracelets that say, you don't live here, go home. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I try, I do my best. <laughs> it's kind of easel out there with the poop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. There's little bags of poop that were left on my porch. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, but they, I guess the, the biggest issue we had was, um, well, two. One, um, uh, they're building a new uh, section to celebration, and it was struck by lightning. So I think uh, Mother Nature was like, enough already. <laughs> so, yeah, so that was pretty scary. And then we did have one gunman, So, um, but he was just trying to kill himself. So if, we, if the police had just left him alone, it would have worked out okay. <laughs> But oh no! They had, to, they had to bring in the SWAT team, and I think they were just excited that they got to use their robots. And um, <laughs> the craziest part was that they were shooting um, tear gas into the house, and uh, they were shooting it up into the fake dormers that are not connected to anything. <laughs> <laughs> so the smoke was billowing back out to them. <laughs> And they couldn't understand why the gunman was laughing and pointing. So, oh, no. yeah, everything is fake here. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, how often do you get to uh, do? Do you guys go over to to Disney then? Being well, that you're so close, 
um, when we say let's go to the, you want to go to the park, that's what we mean. So, you know, we'll go over for an hour or for two. Let's go watch a parade. Let's go ride Space Mountain. But that's how you should do Disney. You know, <laughs> these parents who are pulling their kids around and they're screaming and they're tired and they're like, we paid for this. You're going to have fun. <laughs> and the kids scream it. And that's the way that we do it. It's a lot better. But I have to say, a lot of times are, we're more excited about it than the kids because have you ever seen those videos on TV where they tell their kids, we're going to Disneyland, and the kids are like, yay, and they cry, and they're so happy. Ours are like, hey, we're going to go to Disney today. They're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, we want to stay in and play with Legos. No. <laughs> so oh. it's a complete opposite. You know, you, there's, it's too much of a good thing. So we usually take a couple months off, and then we'll go back, you know, but now they've got the new ride, so it's a really oh, big deal. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the train, the, what is it, Snow White's. Uh, uh, the oh, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't been actually, it was the manager behind all the artists who built it, but whatever, you know, that train. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen let him to listen this. to the show. Oh, yeah, he's going to go, what's wrong with you? Like, what? <laughs> No, you built a train. There's little people. I don't know. <laughs> I'm never going to get to ride it. It's going to be like backed up forever. Oh yes, yes. Mm-hmm. You uh, you you're not standing in the uh, 300 minute, the five hour uh, <laughs> line for the Frozen Girls. Oh. oh my gosh! Did you hear about that? Yes. Yes. It's so crazy. I'm, I'm, I wore a dress and um, I stood next to him. I go, here, five minutes. I'll sign your book. <laughs> <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> it's, it's, it's worth a buck. It's worth a buck. Just a, You could make a million yeah. just sitting there. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, you, you, you kids do know that it was a cartoon. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't imagine paying all that money and flying down and getting a hotel and then standing all day in line. I don't know. Right. They should, we, they should fast pass uh, Elsa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We are, we are feverish. We must say that uh, Disney fans are, are rabid when it comes to that kind of stuff. We, we can't help ourselves. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm all about, I mean, I love it too. I, I have to say, but when you see the behind the scenes stuff, you know, it's, it's a whole nother thing. So oh. because my husband's worked there uh, it's a little, you know, be put in perspective. <laughs> so, so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta let me know because you, you had said you think there's subliminal messages in the music uh, in celebration. I, there have to be subliminal messages in the Disney parks because as soon as I walk in, I just open my wallet and go take it, take it all. <laughs> I, my kids don't need to go to college here. Take it all. No, that's exactly what's it. It's in the water too. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's in everything. There's no. It's it's kind of like a casino in Vegas, you know. Yeah, it's right. In happy air, and they. Um, it, it's the same thing. You drink the Kool Aid when you walk in. No, it's free. Go ahead. <laughs> exactly. Free. Scan exactly. my band. <laughs> but you know, I'm, I'm still. You know, I still have that too. I recorded on my phone my uh, my favorite song from Country Bear Jamboree. Um, oh, which one? Um. Oh gosh, let me find it for you. Okay. See, I'd be able to find it faster if I wasn't wearing my contacts to look cute for the Skype that I'm doing. <laughs> it's probably why I'm having trouble seeing. Um, what are the songs there? Blood oh, on the God. Saddle. I always sing that one. Yeah, yeah, I know the big Al song. Blood on the Saddle. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that one. It was. Uh, <laughs> all the guys who turn me on, turn me down. Don't ask why I know that one. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your theme song? <laughs> it might be after the show. <laughs> okay, oh, wait. we got a whole new demographic. That's oh it. no, this is my kids playing. See now they're they're into the behind the scenes stuff that they have. Um, do you know the the magic card things? I don't know what it's called, but you get the cards at the fire department, and you go around, and there's secret mirrors that come alive when you. Oh yeah! Oh right! Yeah, yeah. yeah right! See, that's the kind of stuff that they like to do. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh, live your lips, you got. Oh, yeah.
That makes me very happy. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Could you hear that it okay? Is, yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, I don't know who that is that sings that, but yeah. I love it. Liver them. Lips? It might be. Liver yeah. Lips is McGraw? That Liver Lips McGraw? Yeah. Liver Liver Lips. Lips. Yeah. yeah. I love everybody knows it. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I recorded that on my iPhone that you're not supposed to, but shh. I won't, I won't tell anybody. <laughs> yeah, we so we, we, do, we do a lot of that, you know, stuff um, that a lot of people don't even know about, you know, the, the the lesser, like like back in the day when they had the, the color tickets. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like all the brown ticket stuff. Like we're all big on the brown ticket stuff. <laughs> Um, you know, let's go see the Hall of Presidents and and stuff like that. I mean, it's so funny. I I think of um, like when President Obama got elected. The first thing I thought was, you know, you got to wake up and you think, wow, I'm the president and I'm going to, you know, help the country and I'm going to do this and that. And then at some point, you got to go, Michelle, I'm going to be in the Hall of Presidents. <laughs> <laughs> You know that's got to be like one of the things that he realized one morning and just made him giddy. You know, absolutely, yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Telling telling his daughters, hey, guess what? <laughs> I've, guess made what? I've made it. I've made it. I'm an animatronic, just like Walt. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Are your kids? Uh, are your kids uh, kind of have have they lost uh, any of the magic because they get to see a lot of the behind scene behind the scenes stuff? They're still. I mean. Again, they, they like um, to find the stuff that's lesser known. Like, we found a book about hidden Mickeys all over. Oh, so yeah. Oh. walk through the park, and they get they get really excited finding all the hidden Mickeys. So we have to, like, keep, you know, doing stuff um, like that to make it new. But, you know, they, they're still, they're all about Star Wars. So Star Wars Weekends is huge for us. Um, uh, when we go see Santa Claus for our picture, you know, Santa comes to Disney, so... That's our Santa, and um, so we're very lucky, you know, and spoiled that we get to actually sit on the real Santa's lap. Um, cause yeah, because Disney's got some pull. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. And, um, so yeah, so there's there's tons and tons of stuff like that that a lot of people don't even know about because you know when we have visitors come, they want to hit you know the, the top five. They want to do the Haunted Mansion, the Space Mountain, the Pirates of the Caribbean, you know, so we've done those so many times um, that we try to, to do. Like, we'll go over to Tom Sawyer Island and we'll spend an afternoon, you know, the boys running through the caves and, like, a lot of people don't even realize that, you know, that that stuff yeah. is there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or we'll do the canoeing around the island or um, you know, when we go to... Uh, uh, Star Wars weekends, you know, and then you got all the Star Wars characters, and so you know, because of my husband, we find out when cool stuff is happening like that. That you know, the Flower and Garden show is right now, so there'll be special guests, you know. So me and my girlfriends, the kids are in school, and next week we're going to Disney <laughs> while they're in school. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> but we're not telling them because no. we're going to go to the Flower and Garden show, and you know. There's wine there, and uh, <laughs> so it's it's it doesn't matter what age you are. That's the cool thing about Disney, you know. That's right. Everybody, yeah. and as as your kids get older, like they get really excited because now my six year old is tall enough to go on the next level of rides. So oh, you know, it's always sure. exciting, always exciting. Yeah. So it constantly is is new and exciting that way, you know. So I made a really big mistake because <laughs> he. He is uh, all about, uh, yeah, I want to go on the rides. And my oldest son and my husband, not so much. They have the queasy stomachs. So I'm like, Zeke, you're tall enough to go on Tower of Terror. You want to go on with mommy? He's like, yeah. So we go in there and he's six. And I forgot all about the terror part. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. I was focusing on the tower. <laughs> <laughs> so we get up there and he's like, oh, I don't like this. <laughs> Uh, so I, I traumatized him and then we we're on it. So the photograph of us that they took is of him hovering into my lap and me covering him like uh, ghosts are coming after us. <laughs> so, so yeah, that kind of ruined the day that I forgot. That was a little mommy selfish because finally somebody was going to go on a ride with me. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. What, uh, if I may ask, what is your favorite Disney park? Um, 
Well, lately we've been really um, having a lot of fun at uh, Animal Kingdom because my oldest is um, into animals. And um, so there's a lot of stuff there that, that people don't know about. I think the funniest thing that happened to me with that was my mom sent me a picture of this amazing African carved tree that was in uh, some part of Africa and it had been carved and nobody knew what it was. And I wrote back, I go, uh, this is an animal kingdom, mom. <laughs> 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 and it's just, she's like, what? And I was like, you Snopes, will you just Snopes? <laughs> Don't send me anything you have in Snopes. <laughs> so, but yeah, we, we, we like that one a lot because there's a, uh, you know, seeing the animals, you never know what's going to pop up. But as far as all time, um, the Magic Kingdom was, is, uh, you know, the classic, classic um, for everybody, I think. Yeah. yeah. Yep. You know, yeah. and but with my boys, I have to say Hollywood Studios because of all the Star Wars and Raiders of the Lost Ark. And, all but right. But we went out to, uh, to Disneyland. Uh, we got to go to Cars Land. So that was awesome. You know, anything, anytime there's something n- new like that, we, we get really, really excited. Um that. Yeah, yeah. Car- so that, Cars that, Land's very so cool. Yeah. yeah, Cars Land was awesome. Awesome. And we got to go to the Magic Hours because we're staying at the resort. So, do you know about the Magic Hours? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, that was awesome. That's the only reason we got on it because we ran and uh, jumped in line and we only we only had to wait 45 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we were at uh, we were at rope drop and got in. It was it was a day that they didn't have uh, the early hours, and and uh, we ran directly to that ride, and we still had uh, a ninety minute wait. Yeah. So you know it, uh, it it's crazy that that is such a popular ride. Well, I think that it's um, the way that the parks are turning now. I think is awesome which is um, that they're making the lands more um, experiential. Like instead of the Dumbo ride just being, oh, there's the Dumbo ride, um, you walk into the movie, you know, kind of like the Harry Potter. um, I think they were kind of setting the stage a little bit for that, but (laughs) hang on. (laughs) Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. That might be your neighbor putting poop on the That's right. No, what it is is uh, my celebration appointed uh, house cleaners are here. <laughs> oh, very nice. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Oh, my. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, you, you have to have those according to the bylaws. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. You're not allowed to be seen cleaning, so that's, that's wrong. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, that's my, awesome. da- I can't let my wife listen to this show now. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they come with the house. It's awesome. Wow, very cool. <laughs> I have I I only have one more question, oh. Tim. Okay. This is a this is a big one. It is. Mary Ellen. If you could be I'm 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 channeling I'm channeling my Barbara Walters here. If you could only be if you could be any princess, who would it be? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Um, so we're not including the villains. <laughs> <laughs> you can be anybody you want. Absolutely. Uh, no Ursula. I can't do that because then I could eat whatever I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Um, let's see. Well, my my boys really love Belle because they're readers, you know. Oh. But she's. Um, but because I, I border on being a hoarder and I have red hair, I have to say Ariel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I have who's it's and what's it's everywhere in my house. <laughs> you know, I never really put the two and two together. She is a hoarder, isn't she? She's yeah. such a hoarder. Yeah. <laughs> and she doesn't have to get a pedicure. So <laughs> that's who I'll go with. Oh, I have a question. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, did you meet your your husband? Can I, is it correct in saying he's an Imagineer? No, he's not an Imagineer, okay. but. Um, what he was, he was an art director, uh, consultant for 12 years. So out in Anaheim. So whenever there was something magic to make, um, he would be hired to do that. Okay. And just recently, a year ago, he was hired full time. So now I have insurance 
and I have passes to the park. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and um, what he is now, he is the manager of the entertainment art directors and entertainment art department. So in Anaheim, and here, and um, um, almost Paris. So where he's a high mucky muck. <laughs> so, wow, very so nice. Were you so, a Disney? Uh, I'm sorry. The art, de- uh, the entire entertainment art department. He's the manager of all of the people in there. So, like, whenever there is a stage show or a new uh, float or a new event or anything that gets designed that has to do with the entertainment, that's what his department does. So, um, he was designing and doing it all. But now he manages all the people who do that. So uh, he doesn't get his hands as dirty and uh, comes home for dinner. So that's good. <laughs> wow. Uh, very good. So were you a Disney fan before you met him? How'd you meet him? You know, how, how'd that all come about? Oh, yeah. We, um, I grew up, my, my dad, actually, uh, we lived in Florida uh, from the time I was seven. So when Disney World opened in 72, was it 72? One. I think it's so one. Okay. Uh, well, uh, my dad got a job at Disney. Um, he was a head waiter at the Contemporary Hotel. Oh. Oh, so, wow. So, um, yeah, he did it for a couple of years and then uh, went on to be a cop and arrested all my dates. from. The- <laughs> <laughs> Smart dad. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, we got to go from when it first opened, you know, so... Um, and living in Florida, you know, when your family's from New York, everybody comes to visit, and that's when we would always go. So we got to go a lot. So I grew up in Disney. So I I, I went to grad night, you know. Um, uh, you know about grad night? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very yeah. Cool. So, you know, not to age myself, but Casey and the Sunshine Band, headliners. <laughs> so, nice. Very good. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, when I met my husband because he hired me to perform at the university he worked in. So at the time, he was working uh, at a university getting his master's degree. And then when he got his degree, he moved out to L.A. with me and started working in movies and TV. And the funniest thing was when I was asking him, you know, what do you want to do? And we walked past the El Capitan Theater, Mm -hmm. uh, which is the Disney theater. And there was, I think it was a Bug's Life was out. And it was all themed out, like all the characters were made, and it was all in the window. And he goes, "I want, I want to do that." <laughs> so, Very cool. flash forward, he got the job, and he was the art director for the El Capitan and all of the premieres that they would have. Because every time they have a premiere there, they um, downstairs after you watch the movie, you go downstairs, and they have it all themed out from props from the movie. And oh, they, wow. Okay. An experience down there, so it's part of the movie ticket. So he would design all that. So it's just really cool, you know, that he saw that and wanted to do it. Um, so that, so then, you know, he would get part, you know, jobs here and there. Worked on uh, different movies, doing um, visual effects like the movie Vertical Limit. He sculpted the mountains, or you know, TV shows or whatever. And then he got in with uh, Disney because of El Capitan and just started working at the park and just started doing that mostly. But then he would do Halloween Horror Nights for Universal and, um, you know, so he did a little bit of everything. But he, wow. he actually did that for at Busch Gardens here last year and we couldn't show the boys anything that he had done. Oh. <laughs> it was so oh. gross. <laughs> Daddy, what are you doing? Nothing. No. Nothing. <laughs> I'm making flowers right. at Epcot. <laughs> we want you to sleep tonight. <laughs> oh, he brought home these like beheaded dolls, and he had to paint them and had blood and so. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. So, so he decided not to do that anymore. So now he works for Disney full time. So our children can enjoy his work. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. That is. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Yeah, so it sounds weird to say I met because my husband hired me because it does sound like I was a professional. Um, but <laughs> he knew what he was doing. <laughs> it's not the case this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, wow. Tim, that is all I've got. Oh, excellent, uh, Marion. Are you going to be performing anywhere where anybody can see you recently? If they're down there or anywhere across the country? Um, 
pretty much just in my living room for my kids. <laughs> How much your tickets? <laughs> I, I, for the summer, I usually just do like uh, corporate shows and things like that, you know, because I stay home with the kids for the summer. But um, yeah, not so much. I'll be blogging. So come oh. to the blog because when I can't vent on stage, I need to get it out or because uh, <laughs> my whole goal is not to be on the evening news. Um, <laughs> I know I'm a good mom. <laughs> so, does that, does uh, celebration have a children's services that come knock and everything? <laughs> it's they do. They just get a sense. It's really weird. What is this? What's a miss here? Oh, please! The flowers you, are not growing out of my butt today. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> do your kids think that you're funny? Uh, actually, they do. do they? <laughs> Excellent. But Excellent. I can't decide whether they're laughing with me or at me. Most of the <laughs> but they're starting to get wise to it. I mean, my oldest is like, when something will happen, he'll go, you're not going to blog about this, are you? Uh. <laughs> you're talk about this on stage. So I decided with him that I can't embarrass him anymore. So now I talk about my um, imaginary nephew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that's okay with him right now. So that's how I'm sliding in under. <laughs> But yeah, he, he's going through that age where he's noticing girls, and I don't like it. <laughs> oh yes, oh yeah, yep, yep. Oh, oh just wait, just wait. Uh-huh. Tim, Tim knows. I know our kids are in our teens or in their teens. So yes, uh-huh. yeah, oh. just wait. Yeah, girls or boys. Uh, I uh, we both have both. I, my yeah. daughter's uh, fifteen and driving, starting to learn how to drive, and my son is. 13 and causing me all kinds of grief about girls. <laughs> see, that's when you put the locks on the doors from the inside. <laughs> oh. Yes. Yeah, my son's 18 and graduates in a couple weeks. Wow, good job. You're done. Well, that's with one. Then the daughter's 12 going on 23. <laughs> wow. I'm not good at math, but there's a little gap there. <laughs> oh, there's a reason for the gap. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. You girls all think that you're much older than what you actually are. Yes. Well... That's, it's only because in contrast to how immature you boys are. <laughs> uh, that's true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> you set up a contrast. So. Exactly. Well, thanks for having me on, you guys. Oh, Marilyn, thanks for being on the show. It was a, it was a blast. I know yeah. way more about Disney than I thought I did. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And thank you so much for sharing all of your uh, great stories about celebration and, and life and, uh, and wonderful celebration, the place we all want to live. Absolutely. It, it will come on down. My house will be up very soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, real quick. Is uh, the celebration community jealous of the Golden Oak community? Oh, um, you know what? Not so much. The Golden Oak is... Um, it's really actually being bought up uh, by a lot of corporations. Oh, okay. And it's like being a perk for um, employees, you know? That's what mm-hmm. I hear. I hear that, you know, and then a lot of people, uh, Brazilians, uh, a lot of people from out of the country are buying it. So, because, you know, they start at 1.5 and go up. Mm-hmm. Um, so, it's a whole nother thing. You know, we're, we're far enough away to where we're not actually, you know, in it. Right, right. Uh, right. But Golden Oaks is, is a whole nother crazy. I mean, we hear the fireworks here and we, we, we're we close. <laughs> so, but, you, know, you know, you don't actually want Mickey Mouse, you know, delivering your mail. Um, <laughs> that's a little close. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little, that's a little much. But yeah, so um, I, I think I, I haven't heard anybody saying anything. So I, I think it's just such another different level. Right. That, yeah, it's not even... It's not the, nearly the same because we're a town. You know, there's no gates to get in. It's not a private community. We're, we're a town. So anybody, you can just right. drive in. So it's a whole different feel. And it's a beautiful town. I, I visited there about five years ago, and it's just, it's gorgeous. I have notice. It's, <laughs> <laughs> we went through there once to, uh, to find the post office, which was gorgeous also. It's beautiful back there. Yeah, it's, it's really fun. Yeah, great so, school and system then, uh, and all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just let me know. If you need to know anything else, I'll do a little research. (laughs) (laughs) It'll be your regular segment. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just, uh, you know, we we, we had one one of our listeners just ask, just keep an eye on your dog and where where your dog's going. That's all they're asking. (laughs) (laughs) My dog doesn't actually poop. (laughs) Oh. It's a Disney dog. It's an animatronic it's a dog. dog. Yes, yeah, so that's why I knew it wasn't my dog. 
Mary Ellen Hooper, thank you so much for being on our show. Yes. Yes. It was fun. We appreciate it, and uh, all the best to you. If you guys have a, an opportunity to catch any of Mary Ellen's uh, work, please do so. She is uh, just fantastic, so funny. Hilarious. Um, and, uh, Their site is very cryptic. It's maryellenhooper.com, so if you can find it. <laughs> that'll be tough to find. And and don't forget that that blog, uh, Stinky Flowers. Yeah. Is, uh, it, is, it is very funny and uh, really enjoyable, so... Uh, thank you so much. I, can I just say, and this is just my personal opinion, I was thinking about this today because you are just you're so good that uh, I was thinking, you know, you remind me an awful lot of a a young Carol Burnett. I'm oh, just saying, see, I'm not kissing up. Best friend. <laughs> <laughs> She's one of my all time heroes, and I guess I wear it on my sleeve. But um, yeah, her and Tim Conway make me laugh the hardest. So thank you. That's a huge compliment. Thanks. Absolutely, oh. it's, it's it's mostly well-deserved. because I trip over. Um, somebody said that I was like, uh, let's see, what was it? Luce, uh, Carol Burnett and Dick Van Dyke had a baby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have red hair and I trip over ottomans. <laughs> but that's a huge compliment. Thank you. That is fantastic. Well, you well deserved. You are you are a wonderful comedian, and uh, like I said, everybody check her out, maryellenhooper dot com, and uh, she is very very funny. So, Mary Ellen, thanks so much for being on. Thank you. I'm sorry, Goofy's at the door. I have to go. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks. Take care. Bye. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tim Scott. You can find me at Resort Loop Tim on Twitter. You can find us at their website, resortloop.com. I'm Bob Collar, uh, Resort Loop Bob on the Twitter. Uh, don't forget Facebook forward slash Resort Loop and uh, rate us on iTunes. And uh, where else can they listen, Tim? You can always find us on The Stitcher. The Stitcher. The Stitcher. That's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> See you, everybody. She's my woman through and through. I love her only cause her heart is true. So long, folks.